Hello Adventure Kids, it is Christy here. And hey, whether you're wearing your PJs today or your grandmother's hat or even gum boots, I am so glad that you are here with me. We're gonna look at God's Word together. But first, have you ever lost something? Mm, I know you well enough to say yes. Yes, you have lost something before. I think we all have. And I've also found that if something's not super important to me, I'm not gonna look for it for very long. Let's have an example. Mm. A paper clip. If you lose a paper clip, how long are you gonna look for it for? Like 10 seconds and then get distracted? Yeah, that's probably my answer. Oh, but what if? You lose your hat at school. Ooh, I'd probably look for it for lots of weeks before I gave up. Does anyone else's school have like a no hat, no play rule? Tricky, right? How about this one? What if you lose your favorite toy? I think if I lost my favorite toy, I might not stop looking for it for like a full year. I should probably put this down because otherwise I won't stop playing with it. Anyway, in today's Bible story, there is lots of looking and a little bit of finding and it is a story from Jesus. Jesus loved to tell stories. Do you want to know why? Well, it wasn't because they didn't have TVs even though they didn't have TVs. It was because stories brought meaning to the words that he said. So here's the story. There were some sheep. Do you like my sheep? Aren't they so realistic? <laughs> there were some sheep. There were heaps of sheep. In fact, there were a hundred sheep and a shepherd. The shepherd looked after the sheep because they were valuable and important to him. And then one day he was looking at his sheep and he realized he only had 99 sheep. Quick maths, that means one of them is missing. Oh, what was he gonna do? Do you wanna know? Do you already know? He went searching for that sheep. He looked through all of the grasslands. He probably had to go up mountains. He probably had to go through valleys. He might even had to look through caves. Oh, I've lost my shepherd. There he is. And guess what happened when he couldn't find the sheep? He kept on looking for the sheep. Yes, exactly, until he found the sheep and he put it on his back, sort of like a parent puts their kid on their back and he carried the sheep home and he was so happy. He was so happy that he had to tell everyone about the lost sheep that he found. Safe back in that paddock. Let's see what Jesus says straight after this. This is from Luke chapter 15, verse 7. I tell you, it will be the same in heaven. There will be great joy when one sinner turns away from sin. Yes, there will be more joy than for 99 godly people who do not need to turn away from their sins. Ooh. So what is sin? Well, sin is wrong choices that hurt us or hurt others. And the sad thing is that all of us have sinned. But let's read that verse again about what God thinks about that. I tell you, it will be the same in heaven. There will be great joy when one sinner turns away from sin. Yes, there will be more joy than for 99 godly people who don't now need to turn away from their sins. So Jesus gets super happy and excited when we choose to stop living in a way that hurts us and hurt others and start following and copying him. He's like that shepherd who gets really excited to have his sheep back and we're like the sheep who gets looked after and we get to follow him. So 
who knows that God loves us? I hope you do, but here's the question. Does God love us all the time? What about, does he love us more when we're at school or at church? The answer is both. Ooh, what about this one? Does God love us more when we're sleeping or awake? Both, and here's a tricky one. God, does God love us more when we're doing good things or doing bad things? Both. God doesn't love to see us hurting ourselves or others, but he still loves us. Our actions don't change how much God loves us. Isn't that a beautiful thing? We're like that sheep that is so important to the shepherd. I know I've already done it twice, but this bit of the verse is really important, so I'm gonna read it again. Luke 15, verse seven. I tell you, it will be the same in heaven. There will be great joy when one sinner turns away from sin. Yes, there will be more joy than for 99 godly people who do not need to turn away from their sins. Jesus says how joyful and happy he is when someone stops living in a way that is sinful and starts choosing Jesus, following Jesus. It's a really exciting and special thing for us to change our lives like that. And here's the thing, have you ever had such good news or a good experience that you just can't wait to tell someone else about it? That's sort of how us Christians feel about following Jesus. We can't keep it to ourselves. Once we have been found by Jesus, just like that sheep was found by the shepherd, it is our mission to impact and change the lives of the people around us with the reality of Jesus. So, I have a question for you. Who is one person that you would love to be found by Jesus? You may have already thought about that this year. Now, I'm not meaning uh, running through Woolworths and seeing a stranger and saying, ha, I found you. That's not exactly what we're talking about, no. I'm talking about, is there someone you know who doesn't know Jesus and you would love to see them know and love Jesus? I do, and, and I try and do this by praying for the friends I have who don't know Jesus. I do this by trying to live a life that shows them how good it is to be loved by Jesus. I do this by asking God for help, for good conversations that can help me talk to them about uh, how God has changed my life. God loves us so, so much. We're like that sheep that gets found and we don't wanna be the only lost sheep that gets found. We wanna share it with everyone else in the world as well. So remember, God loves you. God loves you no matter what you're doing. Whether you're asleep, awake, hey, next time you're in your PJs, I want you to remember that no matter what you're doing, asleep, awake, anything, God loves you so much. Next time you see a sheep, I want you to think about that lost sheep that was found just like we are. Have a think about that this week. I will see you later.